Welcome back to my channel. If you guys give me a second to clean up a little bit here, just finished. I just finished a tutorial and slash uh, session, and uh, it was very interesting. It was really really good. Um, thank you. You know who you are for allowing me to do that for you. And Sunday mornings, you guys are the best. Like Sunday morning, if you need a session. For me, Sunday mornings are like awesome. Any day is a good day, but Sunday mornings after my morning, you know, my Sunday, you know, spiritual stuff, service, church, or whatever, um, is really a good time. There is that, but let me get out what I need because we are talking about small veins today. Yes, we've talked about the deep veins. You guys saw me stick Elmo. Elmo does not have small veins, so he is not participating today. But I have some small ones, and I want to go over them with you. And if it's your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe. Even if it's not your first time and you've just been hanging out, go ahead and subscribe. You will not be disappointed. And just, um, you know, stick around and have some fun with us. And let me know if ever there's anything you want me to talk about or touch base on i should say let me know and i can get that get that going for you so talking about small veins we have i was looking for a, another needle i cannot find it i don't even know you guys i don't even know let me stop because sometimes i don't finish my sentences i don't even know if i brought it that's what i was going to say i was looking for another needle but i don't know if i brought it so let me get my thoughts right. So, no, I did not bring the, the needle that I'm looking for. Those of you who know, you guys know that, yes, I'm still in Mexico on an extended vacation. But in the next few weeks or so, I'm going to have more supplies. And I'll have some butterflies. I'll even have some flood boxes and those things. So get ready for all of the goods to be back on deck. But let's jump right into this, talking about these small veins, because a lot of you guys struggle with them and ask me about them. And I'm going to tell you three things that I know you're doing or not doing that you need to be doing in order to get these veins. Let's do this. Let me move these because we don't want these. Oh, I do want this. This will affect a small vein. I'll tell you this now. These rubber top tubes, they will affect small veins and difficult sticks, especially if you're using a... Well, it doesn't matter, but for sure butterfly needles. If this is the first tube you pull and you're trying to get a small vein, you're going to blow it. You're going to blow it, okay? So, yeah, if you're looking to do this, go ahead and try your waist top tube and get a really good flow first. And then, because if you need 10 ml, you're not going to get it if you pull this. If you stick that rubber top tube into your butterfly first, it's a wrap. So, write that down. Uh, that is one of the tips. So the first thing is when you're going for little tiny veins, I have so many veins showing up this morning, but when you're going for these little tiny ones, where's my tiny one? There's a tiny one, like right here. Sometimes this is all the patient has, correct? And you're like, oh my God, how am I going to get that? And a lot of you are what? Reaching for butterflies first. That's a no-no. I don't care what anyone said. If you've not been in the field over five, six years, no. Let me tell you, let me, let me teach you a little something, <laughs> okay? All jokes aside, though, seriously, from experience, you are going to learn that when you think it's the most difficult vein, and if you did what I just told you not to do, there's no, that's one reason why you're not getting it. And number two, of course, is still the butterfly. Your butterfly needle, you all, what does it have to do? Travel through that tubing. Really? Really? Before that blood gets through that tubing, or by the time it reaches your tube, it's hemolyzed. Especially those 23 gauges. You guys love those 23 gauge butterflies and they're causing hemolysis, okay? So stop. Stop trying to use the butterflies with difficult sticks like this. No, these little tiny veins, yeah, if that's all you have to work with, you're going to have to start learning how to use your straight needles. Now, the other thing with your straight needles is they cannot, they can be just as bad. First of all, let me say this. Any one of these veins on the back of my hand has the potential to blow the minute you stick it, no matter how good they look. Okay, the minute I stick any one of these veins, the potential for it to blow and collapse is very, very great. 
okay? And, and I'll tell you why in a second. But what we're doing now is we're talking about first, the first thing is you're trying to use butterflies. That's number one, okay? That's number one. Number two is if you're using your straight needles and you're not getting it, it's because you're using gauges. Check this out. You are using gauges, right? This is a 21 gauge. Look at the needle. Look how large that is, right? This needle, the gauge, is bigger than the vein. Look at that in comparison, right? You guys ever thought of that? Yeah, pay attention to your gauge sizes. That's why you don't assemble your supplies before you assess your patient. A lot of you pull out those butterflies. Oh, I'm sticking and I'm sticking with a butterfly. Okay, keep, keep it up. Okay, so when you are choosing and you go for your straight needles, if a vein is this small, I'm not gonna, what am I gonna do? What is a 21 gauge needle going to do with a vein this small? It, that makes no sense, correct? Okay, so what you are going to do is get you some smaller size needles. Your nurses, if you don't have these on your tray, if you don't have 25s, the needles that the nurses use, they're usually in the nurses area that they attach to the syringes. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I have some older videos on here for that. I'm gonna try to link them down below. But yes, look for your smaller gauge needles when you're trying to stick veins this tiny these little small veins that's what you're doing wrong you're looking you're trying to use the butterfly number one and then you're using straight needles that are way too large for the veins okay yes that is it, it's that's that's a thing your needle can be bigger than your vein and you can see that like just looking it yeah assess 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 first third what you're doing or not doing you're not anchoring your veins a lot of you see these veins and you see a vein like this. Now we're not even talking about small veins, but a vein like this and you're like, oh my God, yeah. You get all excited. You get your butterfly because a lot of you, you know, you see veins like this even up here and you guys run for butterflies. Yeah, I need you to stop doing that. Um, but whatever the case may be, you grab your, your vein, you're so excited because, ooh, I mean, you grab your needle because you're so excited. It's such a really good vein. And then you go, bloop, and you didn't even anchor the vein. Now, what's going to happen when you don't anchor? Number one, it's going to hurt your patient really, 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 really bad. And number two, it also has the potential to blow the vein. So those are three things that you're doing. I know you guys always ask about deep veins and small veins. Small veins can blow if you're trying to pull a rubber top first and trying to use butterfly needles all the time. Small veins can blow and you're not gonna be successful if the gauge is larger than the, than the vein. And last but not least, if you guys are not anchoring your veins and holding them in place, look how nice that looks. I could stick any one of those veins with a straight or a butterfly and get something by anchoring versus not anchoring and getting absolutely nothing. So learn to anchor, learn to assess your needles, make sure you're assessing, I mean, assess your patient and choose your supplies after you assess your patient and stop running to butterflies first. Thumbs up, share, like, comment, let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video with some more small bangs if you need it. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.